You ready? Leaving all, we'll call the March 18, 2024 meeting of the Greenwood Board of Public Works and Safety to order at 5.30 p.m. Roll call, please, Amanda. Mr. Coleman. Here. Mr. Hoover. Here. Mr. Rutherford. Here. Thank you. The minutes of the regular session of March 4, our last meeting, have been distributed to members of the board. Any corrections, additions, or deletions from staff? There are none. Is there a motion to approve as presented? So moved. Second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Chief Eisen, you are first up today. Good evening. Good evening. I am here to ask for approval to purchase uh, new uh, ballistic panels for our SWAT team's best. Uh, they, uh, they're approaching expiration. Each the old manufacturers were getting uh, five-year expiration dates on. Um, now they've, they've upped that anywhere from 10 to 15. I, I believe these new best have 15 years. 10 or 15, I should know that. Quite a bit longer. So that run, uh, for the it's fifteen thousand to update all fifteen hundred. I don't move for approval. Personally, I'm sorry. I am. And it's for chief signature. Chief signature. Oh, sorry. second. For the discussion. Here we go. All favor say aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we're going to go to Mike Davis. Uh, one more. Eleven forty-four. Crescent Drive, Mr. Davis. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever it is. Yes. Come right up there. Mr. Davis has been requested a waiver of our municipal code section regarding boats, RVs, trailers, and camper regulation. Why don't you tell us what you want to do? So I really just like to keep it, keep the trailer like I've been having it. I mean, I've been standing in this neighborhood for about seven, eight years now. Um, the trailer has been outside for about the last four or five years, and now I just got to the point of it. Um, so I just really like to keep it. I mean, we definitely the sign crews going to update you guys. Do correct me this. I would actually put a uh, caution signs up by it, um, and I'll make sure that we get columns by it, so that you know it would definitely no one could have a problem with it being in the driveway. Um, I understand policy and how how, how it works at the, at the HOA, but there's so many different vehicles that's backed out, like my trailer is. And my trailer is not even that far from the, the sidewalk. Um, it's maybe like one feet at the time you're crossing the line from the sidewalk in my driveway. So, yeah. Mr. Lau, is this something that's in you? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, um, this came in as a complaint on February the 3rd. I went out on February the 5th and inspected the property and found the trailer to be in length of 22 feet, which exceeds the code. Uh, I cited Mr. Davis on the 6th and uh, gentlemen. So he was issued a warning? He was. So what does the code say? 18, 18 feet in length. Are there any, uh, is it just a length violation or is it a placement violation? Well, it is in the front. The tongue of the trailer is exceeding the driveway, but it's exceeding into the uh, sidewalk, so the right of way. And it is parked partially over into the yard. I think there is a picture of that. Yeah, there is. And it is it in the picture that we have is the trailer backed up close to the garage doors and the and when we ran into this the same problem last year. And he was kind enough to actually grant it. He rolled by me back. He was like, you know what? I'm not going to bother you on this. 
and we and we let it go for a whole six months, and then it came back around. So this is like I said, this has been an ongoing thing. It just didn't get this far to where we're coming in front of you guys. But he did give me the okay to keep it around because he said this should not bother anyone at some at one point. So what do you use the trailer for? Well, I, I use it for a couple of things. I do, I am a private contractor with the trailer, so I do pull some cars, and then I have an old antique car that I've had for about 20 years that I pull around to car shows and so forth. That's in my garage. It's a 67 Chrysler. Newport, very nice convertible, fully restored, and I have to pull the car around to the different car shows. It's got big wheels on it. But I tried to use this as an investment. You know, like I said, I didn't have it until 2020. I didn't have it for so long, and this is, I'm running to this problem now. Well, that definitely, I shouldn't extend over the sidewalk. People walk. I walk in, in that neighborhood before bike. <laughs> Or set up. I've not noticed exactly that. I don't know the other side. I mean, we actually took some more pictures of the, the, the neighborhood. I mean, it's so many vehicles that's in violation, not trailers, but if it's a link thing, it's so many different vehicles. That's parked, that's literally parked. The, the vehicle is so long, it can't even fit. It's covering the sidewalk. You have to walk around. So I just don't want you guys, I ever decide to do this, I just don't want you just to single it out just because of that. Because in my neighborhood, it's pretty much on every street, someone is violating this code. So the violation is not that it's blocking the sidewalk, right? No, sir. It's the length of the trailer. But if it was because I agree, agree with the petitioner in that neighborhood, several people park their cars yeah. and it blocks the sidewalk. So it's exactly right. There's all kinds of violations. In that <clears throat> but if it wasn't a length violation, if it wasn't the appropriate length, it wouldn't. It would not, that wouldn't come off the side. And I guess, Mr. Davis, that, I, I, my question was: Is it backed up in this picture that we've got? Is it backed up as far as you can go to the garage? Uh, in fact, yes, sir. It's, okay. yeah. But I mean, it's a line that actually, where it's at right now, it's another line, and it's not even crossing that line on the sidewalk. You got the end of the driveway, and it's a line that you got my trailer. My trailer is maybe like three inches from the line. So, yes, it is intruding the sidewalk, but it's not intruding by even 12 inches. And my neighbors next door, I just spoke to them, I just spoke to everybody around. No one seems to have this complaint. No one seems to, it was like, every time I asked a neighbor, it's been there for so long. It was like, it's been there for so long. No, we're not concerned with it. I asked next door on both sides and across the street on both sides. Mr. Deputy Mayor, you have input you want to give us? I just want to make you aware, Chairman Walton, for the record. So going before the council tonight will be a repeal of an ordinance the city's had, I don't remember how many years ago. Uh, Throughout the city, we had numerous complaints about defeating the pedestrian flow of traffic on sidewalks. So if that gets passed, uh, no doubt whether it's this trailer, the cars can go through about any neighborhood. A lot of the older neighborhoods meant for one car, two cars, they got four cars or five cars. So the complaints we've had is where young kids went to play at a neighbor's house and they had Walk out the street, street to go, or more complaints from the elderly about when they were walking. So, however, this shows, I want to make you folks aware, as long as Mr. Davis, the same thing, if that gets repealed, it will be in every subdivision. The code enforcement will be going and citing anybody that access finds a site. Not trying to predict what the council might do, but maybe it'd be appropriate for us. To continue this uh, until our next meeting, so we see what the council does. I mean, obviously, we've got an issue that we've got to fix if we can. Um, and I think, from my own perspective, if, as Mr. Davis said, I don't go through your neighborhood a lot. So I know you kind of the houses are kind of garages are kind of close to the street. If you don't have that, you're going to have you got two cars and try to park close to the driveway. It's a problem. Something like this, and may not be the, I hate to say it, the world's worst 
problem, especially if you've been there for a while. So, well, and the cars block the sidewalk. A big problem. A bigger problem. Obviously, somebody's complained since you know the initial check. So that's that's why we're here. Yes, sir. So uh, it's bothering somebody. So that's why we have to take action. So is, is your street the one that goes into the park? Oh yes, sir. That's correct. Yeah. Correct. And like I said, I'd be willing to invest in some huge cones where the wind won't blow them down. You know, so someone definitely can see it. You know, that it's in there. I really just need it so bad. I do plan on moving. Uh, within the next four or five years, so it won't even be here this long. Yeah, I think it's appropriate to continue this uh, maybe for a month and uh, yeah. see see what the council ends up doing. And direct staff to uh, hold, hold a warning in abatement until uh, we make a further decision on this. Right, with no penalties. Yes. So, yeah. Sure. Probably should make it six weeks in case there's no. That process would take six weeks. Would that be part of your motion? To yes, I would move. We move. Uh, so it would be three meetings from now, right? I'll second that. Yeah, so three meetings from now is right, April 1st, April 15th. If you're looking at uh, May 6th, uh, we would, the council will take final action on April 22nd at the latest. Or April 15th, I'm sorry. But that's a fifth Monday, so it pushes it into May. Okay, as long as we continue it to May 6th. Okay. Further discussion? Good, no. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh -huh. Mr. Davis, I'm going to ask a personal question. I'd love to see the same price in Newport, so bring back a picture of yours when you come back. Uh, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, be in touch with you. Email. Thank you so much, yeah. man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Shell, good afternoon. Good afternoon, John Shell with Community Development Services. Fire Station 93 was built about five, about five years ago. Uh, there were no utilities on Cutsinger Road for the uh, fire station to tap into. Since then, Arbor Homes has completed the neighborhood on the south side, and uh, sewer has been brought underneath Cutsinger Road, and the fire station tied into the sewer. And Indiana American Water has a 12 inch vein on the south side uh, in the utility easement uh, that we would like to tie into to be able to bring water to the fire station beyond the well that it's on. The fire station was built with a sprinkler system, and that sprinkler system is obviously not activated because the well couldn't keep up with something like that, should never go on. And this would allow us to put the building up to its full potential. Uh, it would also allow us to. Uh, we have uh, Indian American water, which is just a, a better water than well water. And we would maintain the well for potential other uses on site. Uh, I have brought you three different proposals uh, from Robinson, uh, directional boring, trenching directional boring, from Fox Contracting Corporation, and from SSI uh, for the work second floor. I bring these proposals asking for approval of one of them so we can proceed and bring city water to the fire station. John, there's a somewhat significant difference in these yes. proposals. Are we talking apples and apples on all of these proposals? Um, I met with all three of the estimators for the companies, had the same spiel for each of them. The highest one. Is a company who did uh, the earthwork out at Greenwood Sports Park. And in the conversation with them, I thought that they would use the same uh, directional boring company, which is Daystar, to actually do the board and then they would finish up the pipe work. And they told me that they had just recently added a piping division to them. So I think they're pretty new at it. And they've affected their bid. So are you recommending Robertson? Uh, yes. Have a, uh, a comfort level with their work quality? Um, I spoke with uh, Jeff Weaver, who is also in CDS, who has uh, managed work for the city for quite a while. He's familiar with their work. He's seen them before, and he's very comfortable with the quality that they do. Our discussion, the drawing that I originally gave them had the 
we actually have a eight inch main that goes probably about 25 feet of the roadway. And I had drawn up to put a 90 over and then another 90 to go underneath the road uh, at an area where there's actually a patch in a new street where the gas company cut out our new street and uh, went over to the other side so they could bring gas to the subdivision. Well, anytime you do a directional bore like this and you cross into the utility, you have to uh, pothole and look, get, put eyes on that line. You can't go by what they have in their records or anything. And so we would do the pothole in this patch area to keep from damaging the street. Instead of doing 290s, uh, they suggested we do 245 so we can tell them further back across the yard and tie in. So would there be a motion to approve Robinson as the lowest responsive and responsible bidder for this project? So moved. Second. Further discussion? No. We have to say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you, gentlemen. Fire Thank station you. 93. Thank you. Thank you, Tickle. <laughs> uh, next is uh, Andy Groves, Planetary Brewery. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever we're calling. Um, yes, here again for uh, the Spring Social, which we've done in years past. It was the uh, last Saturday on April, which uh, this year would be the 27th. Um, much the same uh, as we've done before, uh, requesting a closure uh, from Main Street to Pearl on Madison. Uh, for a four hour window, the only change is we had noticed that, um, you know, we've been making the, uh, the event as family friendly as possible and noticing a lot of traffic at the beginning uh, of the time. So we we're looking at moving the road footer to 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, versus the 6 p.m. to 10 that we've done in years past, um, just to kind of accommodate the more family friendly crowd that we've been getting. But, uh, now, outside of that, everything is basically the same. We've already uh, contacted Greenwood PPD. They have uh, recommended two officers for the event. And so this would be from Maine to Pearl. Is there a cross street? Pearl is the first cross street. Right. Of, Correct. Uh, that's not very far. Hmm? Not, not a big distance, but close to the And two o'clock, I guess, as opposed to, you say it was six to 10? It was six to 10 in the past, yes. Okay. Not sure which makes a difference. Ty, have you been involved in yeah. this? Yeah, we've already, uh, as I said, talked to Jason Grable about it. Uh, he thinks it's a fine time. Well, it's fine time as any to close the road for a, a street. So, Mr. McLaughlin, do we, uh, it's your favorite. <laughs> I, well, should... <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to ask it. Uh, <laughs> we have did this in the past, but I, I really encourage the board to probably look at next year as totally different because the northern part of around Euclid and stuff, next thing you know, we're, we're back to having several street closures, which I don't think benefits the vast majority of residents. And I'm trying to hurt the businesses, but I do think about the residents that have to be inconvenience or visitors to town that don't know how to get around. And that's my biggest concern is sort of keep adding more. So I'd rather keep it to one road closure. Everybody gets in and does their thing and just close for a whole day. And whether it's this type of function or you know, selling knickknacks, whatever that case would be, and uh, try to make the best of it for the businesses. And you'll remember that next time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's it's your planetary, and then is, is Hoosier? Yeah, it's Hoosier. We use their side lot for uh, well, feeding and uh, the live meats. Anything with the new businesses that are going um, there? Well, we've talked to some of them. I mean, they're ongoing discussions uh, just because basically this, well, it all kind of spawned from uh, the initial one that we did uh, for St. Patrick's Day, uh, which was the facade kind of that um, celebration there to open that up. And then we moved it to April just 
because the weather is always a factor in March. Uh, so it, it give us it'd be more beneficial at a, at a later date when we can have some more kickoff. But Jim, any further questions for Mr. Barrows? And you would coordinate if you have them already with uh, appropriate people in the city, with the legal department, Ty and Mr. Hagen can uh, <clears throat> coordinate that. It's passed. Is there a motion to approve it from two to six on April 27th? So moved. Second. Further discussion? Hearing that, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Good luck. Matt Howard, gonna be here for a while. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep, Matt Howard with MI Homes. Uh, first one is Springwood Station, section five, asking for acceptance of the improvement of sidewalks. Uh, I don't know if we need to wait before I ask for the waiver of maintenance. Well, well, let's just. Looks like all of these are asking the same thing except for section eight. Yes. So five, six, and seven are the same, same request. Correct. Okay. Um, so Mark on uh, five, six, and seven. What's the uh, pleasure of your office? Um, acceptable? Yes. So they've been inspected. The sidewalks found to be it's acceptable. Uh, we're recommending release of performance bonds and, and waiver of three year maintenance guarantee because they've been out there for more than three years already at all three of the sections. So, so just different section members of Greenwood Station, is there a motion uh, with respect to those three sections five, six, and seven? We approve the request and waive the maintenance guarantees for sections five, six, and seven of Greenwood Station. Okay. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. And then let's go to section eight for additional. Well, tell us what's the additional part of that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, again, it's the acceptance of the sidewalks with a uh, request for the waiver and release of the performance guarantee. The additional request of release of maintenance guarantees for erosion control, asphalt surface, and monument, monument and street signs. Okay. So, three additional bonds. Mark, anything? Is that all okay? Yes. In your office? Yeah. I would move for approval. We have section eight. Second. Further discussion? Very good. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Next, go to Neil Van Trees and Greg Venter from Lenar Homes, Elmwood Estates. Are you online with us? Greg, are you with us? Yes, I am. How are you guys? Sorry, I just had to, had, to, had to get unmuted. We got a couple. Uh, well, yes, you... we're on the Elmwood Estates Amenity Center. Uh, we are here for acceptance of performance guarantees, uh, acceptance and execution of inspection and testing agreement for that one. Okay, let's let's deal with that one. Um, Mark. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's correct. Acceptance of performance guarantee uh -huh. in the center, um, an inspection and testing agreement, as well as ratifying 50% upfront fee, and everything's in order on this one. No issues. I'll move for approval. Second. For the discussion, hearing that, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. And then with section four, Greg. Uh, yes, uh, Elmwood Estates, Section 4, uh, acceptance of the improvements, our maintenance guarantees, performance guarantees, and acceptance of uh, the execution of the final plot. And Mark, again, is this all okay? Yes, everything's in order. Do you have a plot for us? I do. Okay. <laughs> Second that for the discussion. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. All right. Aye. Motion passed. Thanks, Greg. Have Thank you guys. Have a good night. Well, this will make a lot of people happy. We're going to talk about Starbucks and summer. Huh. Mr. Kovacs, are you with us? Yes, sir, I am. Good afternoon. Tell us what we're doing here. Uh, we're asking for acceptance uh, of the improvements, uh, acknowledge completion of the improvements, and then acceptance of maintenance guarantees and um, 
release of our performance guarantees. Yes, they're all good. These are uh, letters of credit, especially if we decided. Okay. So, motion to approve for approval. Further discussion? Here again, I'll take the aye. Motion passes. Thanks, Rick. When, do we, when are you open? Are you open now? I, I believe they're open. I'm always the last one to know, but I think they opened a week ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a good rest Appreciate of you. it. Thank you very much. Does anyone from the audience wish to address us? If from the audience wish to address us, either here in the building or online. Here in uh, Mr. Hudson. First up for me is uh, amendment to the uh, PSA with Hiram's advertising. Uh, this was necessitated because the scope of their services was reduced and the uh, contract amount was not also reduced. So I believe we're reducing it from $2,500 to $1,500. Move, we approve the request. Sorry. Further discussion? Very good. All in favor say aye. All right. Aye. Next up is a um, separate PSA for Hirons, and this is for their services in conjunction with the 2024 State of the City address. <laughs> Questions for Sam on this? I'll move for approval. Second. Further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. All right. Aye. Motion passed. And finally, resolution 20-02, um, this is for um, setting a parking race for special event parking. Um, and I believe this is going to the council tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is some emergent um, nature to this because uh, of the eclipse coming up and they want to be able to monetize use of public parking lots. Is, is that just for that event or for all special events? Yeah, you know, they'll have the option to do it in the future for any special event. At that same rate? No, it has a rate that would not exceed that. Okay. So are we raising or lowering the rate? The we we it. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, no, you're, they're not able to allow it. It's just uh, allowing them to charge something, but whatever they charge has to be lower than $40 for a special event. So we can charge it on any city lots. Okay. Their uh, motion to pass resolution 24 02. So moved. Second. Further discussion? Hear none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Amanda, do I have that? It was there. I'm oh, sorry. It was over there somewhere. Okay, well, we'll find it before we do it. Okay. That's all wrong. Yeah. Okay. Sam, anything else? No, thank you. Thank you. Um, Mark. Yes. Um, the first item I have for you is our 2024 annual paving project. Uh, this is the second paving program we bid this year. The first one was our community crossings one. Uh, we've received eight bids on this project. Uh, Power Companies was found to be uh, the lowest responsive and responsible bidder at $2,045,670.80. Uh, in reviewing their bid, we do, did find two mathematical errors. Uh, they still remain a little bit. They weren't major mathematical errors, so we're asking that you acknowledge that those are there. They've agreed to adjust their total prices accordingly. And that price I read of $2 million and some change reflects those repairs. So any motion would be subject to your final review. Uh, it has been reviewed by both engineering and the sure okay. Well, I move that we approve the uh, resolution 2024. Would it be just a modification or, um, or accept the... Uh, just acknowledge the two mathematical errors mm -hmm. and that the uh, board based it and alternate bid number one to our company as the lowest responsive and responsible bid. So moved. Second. Further discussion? Here we go. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, the next item I have is a sanitary sewer service special agreement for Lincoln Place subdivision. This is located off of Emerson and Pushville Road in the southwest corner. I'll move for approval. Second. Second. 
further discussion? Sure, you know, there's the aye. Aye. Uh, motion passes. Next item is uh, uh, operations and maintenance manual for water quality for the Sage Fire by Dell Web Subdivision, Section 1A and Section 1B. Uh, move for approval. Second. Questions from Mark? Hearing none, all favor say aye. 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 I have one walk on item. It's another. Um, Operations and Maintenance Manual for Water Quality, Elmwood Estate, Section 4. Um, there were several sections in Elmwood Estates that were recorded at once. We thought Section 4 was included in it, but it was not. So this is just a, a record keeping, but um, to accept this and allow it to be recorded. Okay. Motion to approve the permit to the O&A manual. Second. 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 Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Yes. So I have thank you. Okay, thank you, Mark. It's feeling better. Uh, Mr. Wright's not present. Controller. Um, I'll move for approval of the client. Okay. Second. Further discussion? Okay, then. All in favor say aye. Aye. Do you folks have something you want to wish to address to the board? Hi, right, come on, come on up. Tell us what you want. We just actually we don't know. We just came by chance. So we need uh, some kind of permission for the fence and that deck. Okay. Have you, you need to talk? Yes, they submitted the encroachment documentation. Um, I think you probably talked to Jeff Weaver last Friday about yes. some additional documentation that was yeah, needed. So we got a call. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we can get you on one of the upcoming board agendas, possibly the one and two. I'll take care. I'll take care. Okay. I'm sorry. Say again. Sorry. It'll be on the next agenda for oh, the next, next board one. meeting. It goes through a process. They'll look at it and get, make a recommendation to us, and it may be such that uh, they don't even need to come to us. Uh, just official to kind of rubber stamp it. But oh. if there's any problems or questions, then uh, we can we can talk about it the next week. Oh, okay. Okay. I have another question. Um, yesterday, I uh, even my HOA people for the fence. They say they won't um, they won't approve, but if I go with uh, the city, if they if the city approve it, then they then they're gonna be okay. and they uh, they give me one paper to give it to you guys. So okay. I'm gonna give that to Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. So thank you. There's nothing else to come before. The board will stand adjourned at 6.03 p.m.